killer rhythm. This guy, Tim Kelly, great player. CBT guitar lesson for Kevin. Slaughter, the wildlife. The tuning is D standard or double flat. Let's jump right in. One, three, four, D, G, B. Repeat it with an open D. Nice chords too. One, one, E, A. Three, 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 D, G, B. One, three, three, E, A, D. Three, mute, open, open, three. E through B. And then he dive bombs it with the whammy bar. So it's. Section, now that's the intro, it's 16 seconds in. Section 1A, 23 seconds in. 3D and G, slide to 5. Once you get there, rest and then go 5, 5, 5, 3. <clears throat> then open D, G. Three E palm muted twice, open D G. Three E palm muted once, open D G twice, and then a string mute. You can take the mute out if you're not feeling it. Okay, four times, fourth time no star. So the fourth time sounds like this. You'll go. Just uh, instead of going, you'll go palm mute one, two, three, E, one A, half step bend, three E, vibrato rest. Really cool. 39 section, seconds in, section 1B. Love, love, love this rhythm. It's so Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> 2D half step bend, open G, 2D half step bend, 3-1-A, three, 3-E, three string mute, basically D-G or D-G-B, open G, down up down, palm mute, 3G, palm mute, 3B, palm mute, 1-E, let it ring, so it's... So, then you repeat the Eddie riff, but add to it with one three one one on the A. Palm mute everything except the one the first hit. Three one E palm muted so. One three A D slide to three five slide to one three. Now that's the whole groove. It's two times, second time, no star. Let's play the second time. Right there. Instead, you'll go, well, not instead, but after that, it's palm you one, three on the E. And he does some octaves. Let's see. Eight. Mute 10, A, D, G, slide to 10, 12, and back to 8, 10. Uh, 7, mute 9, slide to 8, 10. 7, mute 9, slide to 5, 7. 3, mute 5, slide to 5, 7. So it's... Then um, 55 seconds in section 1C, more 80 style stuff. Palm mute 1A twice, 3G. 1A palm mute twice, 1DG. I just kind of bar that down. 1A palm mute twice, open G. 1A palm mute once, 3D. 1A palm mute once. It sounds like this. One mute three ADG strum, slide up a whole step, slide back a whole step, slide up a whole step. Top of page three. Three A, it's the same concept but up higher. Palm mute twice, five G. 3A palm mute twice, 3DG. And then 3A palm mute on the, uh, and you go down, down, up. 
So it's and then 10 mute 12 um, ADG slide to 810 7 9 slide to 810 7 9 slide to 5 7 and then 3 mute 5 so it's like the other ones just one octave less um, two times second time no star right up to there in 107 you'll go um, I want to hear that the 107 part Something seemed a little off there. Yep, good thing I checked. 5 DG, mute, and then 5777 ADGB. So, it's a D. 57777, or 5777. Okay, so from there, I think that's the end of that. Seven, seven, seven. You just slide off 13A. For a while now. Here's the next part. 109N is section 1D. 3DG slide to 2 and then hit opens. Palm mute 3E twice, open DG, palm mute 3E once. And this is really cool. On the A, go one, three, four, open D, one open A, three E vibrato rest. So it's palm mute one A twice, three D G, palm mute one A twice, one D G, palm mute one A twice. Then you're gonna go six D G slide to five, and then hit fours on the D G. Three on the G, you're going to do a trill. Hammer pulls to the fifth fret four times. So it's 117 time stamp. You're back to this. Actually, no, this is 3A palm mute twice, 5 DG. Do that two times. And then 3 DG. Then go 3 low E palm mute, open A palm mute. 1, 3, A, D to 1, E. So it's... Three, E, palm mute twice, open D, G. Do that two times. Two and a half times, really. And then 1, 2, 3, A, open D. 1, 3, 3, A, D, G to 1, E. So it sounds like this. Time. Repeats at 124. Really, the only new part's a solo at 224. Great solo. 5G bend. And then he does some tapping. Tap the 8 on the B and then pull to 6 and 3. Two times. So, same thing on the E string. Back to the B strings, but do it, uh, yeah, three times. So it'll go two, two, three. But he's like, really cool. When you're doing this, like for example, on the E, my index is muting the B string. When I'm on this one, I'm muting the G. Keeps it cleaner. Seven G, tap, pull three open. Same thing with the five three open. So, so. Then go five G, turn the whammy for this, but you're gonna swoop, have the whammy down, hammer the five G, bring it up to pitch and pull three open. You're going to do that like eight times. Without the whammy, it's... But win on a win on a win on a win on a... 
you swooping up. Pull that open G, dive bomb it, bring it back up. 232 timestamp 18B, we're gonna bend. Do a bend release to 15, so. 18E, two step bend, you're bending this to that. And then, uh, and then just pick vibrato. Diminished right here, this is cool. Fifteen hammer eighteen pull fifteen on the E. Seventeen fifteen B E. Seventeen pull fourteen on the B twice. Fifteen fourteen fifteen G B G. That sounds like this. Um, almost done here. Twelve G step and a half bend. That's uh, bending to that. Twenty B. You're gonna bend three times. And then 18, bend whammy vibrato. But that would be the vibrato bar. 240 time stamp, we hit repeats up until you get to 306, and here's how they end it. Fourth time. Instead of going, you'll go open A at 321 and then three mute open open three, which is a G chord twice. Okay, so I'll probably use third finger. Have it another killer song from Slaughter. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, appreciate you, man.